maybe not. Shout out though. Hey, bro, you know what you should do, bro? You see your forehead, though, bro? You see your whole forehead, bro? Slap that bit around the follow button, bro, please. If you want to join the family, though, only if you want to join the family. I'm probably not going to play that game right now, though. I've seen so many people, like, over the last few months. Okay, wait. wait. Hey. Hey. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. All right. Um, let me really, because he, he put some... He put some work into this. Shout out, bro. Shout out. If I did not say that the first time. Uh... Oh, curing. Okay, okay. But did. What was it? Okay. That's his last name. I've seen so many people like know. over the last few months Damn, go to like the most Damn, racist town in America. Chill out. I'm not gonna. I wanted to do that not just to like go there and troll, but I genuinely have always had the thought. Like, he said he's seen a lot of people. Hold on. Last few months go to like the most. He said, "Hold on." I've seen so many people like over. So the many? Damn! I only know Pudi who did it. Who? Who was so many? Last few months, go to like the most racist town in America. I'm not gonna. I wanted to do that not just to like go there and troll, but Damn. I genuinely have always had the thought like, is it possible to to change somebody's like mindset? Is is it possible to make someone who's racist not racist? I told you I did not have to go to the most racist town in America. I stayed right here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I found someone. Who yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and Georgia claimed racist. Depending on who you ask, some people will tell you that it's stronger. It's a nice ass area though. Damn, I have not seen this. It's ever been. Some people will be delusional and tell you it doesn't exist at all. And then some people will tell you the honest truth. Do you feel like racism still know. exists in 2023? I did not even listen to what yeah, you just said. Have you had like any personal experiences like as of recently? Recently? I haven't had any recently. I've, I've definitely had some though. I'm mean, even in the military. I used to be in the army. Yes, yes. I'm talking to, he said 2023. He said 2023. I do. I just moved here not too long ago, and there's definitely a big difference between the North and the South. And down here, there's more upfront in your face. Like what, anything in particular? Particular job opportunities, uh, just hateful looks, and just outright rudeness. It does. Why do you say, why do you say that? <laughs> why does he not want to show his face? Because I see. You personally experience it? Yes. Oh, he does not want to show his face. Like any any specific situations? Uh, so uh, the college that I was studying in, yeah. uh, of course. Uh, oh, so he, he receives racism for um, I don't know. He sounds French. On uh, at a very bigger level. It's, I'm he's not French. You see the corporate structure. Oh no, that boy, that boy from one of the India. I don't know. Is it all India? Yeah, I think it is. The diversity. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. It's not being reflected in terms of. Damn, why are racist towards him, bro? Damn. Just like when you go into like the little office and shit like that, you know they go to look out for the white people. Come on, bro. Stop the racism, bro. Stop that shit. Stop that shit. Yeah. You deal with bullshit all the time. I don't let it phase me though. We don't let. He about to cry. You see this? He said, "I don't let it phase me though." You about to cry, stop the racist. If you was to meet a racist, like what would you ask them though? Cause we about to meet one and I'm trying to figure out what would I ask this person? What would you ask a racist straight up? You got one question. Shit, what happened to you? Like why, why you why you hate people? Why you hate us so much? What happened to you? You see, man, this man's a real one. He still wanna know what happened to you, like. And that's the honest question. Where does this hate stem from? Yeah. We're gonna try to see. Yeah, you got the black bodyguard too. Oh my gosh. They're about to be triggered. If we can make a racist, non racist. As you can see, I have security for this video because I didn't know if it was gonna go left. Let's see what we can do. All right, pleasure me. You said you're not from Atlanta? So you're. you're... So I was the North. I just can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. From the countryside? Countryside, but still Georgia, right? So you, what, what, what do you say you classify as? You classify yourself as a, a white supremacist. Red hair. It's her hot girl summer. She got the heart earrings. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's go. A white supremacist. So why, why, why do you say that you're a white supremacist? I wouldn't say I'm one. I just believe in them. So I believe that they. You just said, would you, he said, what do you identify yourself as? She said, okay. So you and believe they have all the power and okay. that we're all slaves to them. Okay. 
You just believe in, in, in yo. Dang, bro, I just want to click off, bro. I want to, all right. But you're white, so like, yes. you wouldn't technically be a slave, it'd be like just me. No, I think, I think all people are. All people are slaves to them? Okay. So do you like believe in like equality? Like do you believe in like racial equality or? I, I mean. Okay, okay, okay. It might be coming out. <laughs> it might be coming out. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. It's not like, it's in some ways, but not in other ways. I mean, if you believe in equality, I don't believe in equality. Tell me. Okay. So why'd you just say yes? Yo, yo. She just, it's the camera. You know, if he was just like a random black interviewer, she wouldn't be this particular with it. Tell me what you mean by that. I don't believe any of us are equal. Oh my gosh. Stop speaking so political. You know. Oh, all right. I believe we're all in the system. Okay. Oh my God. So like, bye. She not going, she not going to like. But the camera in her face, she's not gonna just like wholeheartedly just admit it. She's not. I don't even. Did you tell her? Before? I'm talking about more specifically like like black people and white people. Well, if I would be right, if I was to be racist with anyone, it would be Indians because they're just cheap and. Hell no! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He just had one too. Um. I feel like I should take the time to put out the obvious disclaimer that what she's about to say and continue saying throughout the rest of the video is not true at all. I don't agree with it. Um, yeah, yeah, like, the first line, they're just... Ah, it's just everything from here, bruh. Should I even watch it? Yeah, I'm watching watch And I honestly don't condone any of this type of stuff. The only reason I'm letting her talk fully through is because I'm trying to hear what she's saying and then tell her afterwards, later on in the video, what she's saying is wrong and how she needs to change it. Hands are really bad. I mean, they're not, I used to work for them. So I was in property management for five years. There's individual instances of like, I feel like you can find individual instances of, of anybody being an asshole. Like I can white, black, anybody dogs yeah, but I mean, cats they did a lot of evil things the white nationalists, nationalists yes yeah. so what is um that means like you believe in like keeping the white race pure right because that's that's what a white nationalist is <laughs> he's he's trying to be like an interview but he's like trying not to be like judging or like i don't know I, where they don't he's trying not to judge her while still interviewing her. Races. yeah is that yes, the, uh, my family does believe that but you don't believe that I was, I would say I was raised in it. Like it took me a long time to un unlearn a lot of things. But yes, I used to be a huge racist. Like I used to wear rebel flags. I used to wear- I used to, I used to, I used to. I'm thinking it's current. All Dixie Outfitter clothes. My dad, I mean, from the time I was born, my dad basically told me that if I was to ever date a black man or be with one, like he would hang me on a tree with the black man he said that he would kill me a lot of, like a lot of things were told to me i was even told it was in the bible that i couldn't even be with a black man like because it's against god so yo yo they're using the bible it's crazy damn how y'all gonna lie on the bible like this? But how much of that do you still believe today though it took a long time like it took decades I'm 33, 26 Damn. years old. Damn, like, yeah, like, when you taught that, that when you were a child and shit, like, you literally have to want to make that change. If you literally taught that since you was a child, bro, like, you literally have to want to make that change. And most of them not going to want to, they, and then their whole family and everything supporting that, and it's just like, damn. I, I, I get it. This was it's, all just it's generational, but still, like you gotta make the change. This indoctrination of my father. So we, you wouldn't even really consider yourself a racist today. But you say you're racist, but you say you wouldn't even consider yourself. I have racist tendencies because. Tell them I have racist tendencies. No. Like I, I guess you would say profile people, even though I'm not intentionally doing it. It's just, it just. I just don't even want to see her. I'm gonna leave my I'm gonna leave my journal like off of the few. I don't even want to see her. Or, okay. Or, I would remember. say you're just a gentleman, a mm -hmm. nice man. You just are just wanting to bring this information to the world. So when you see a mixed race, like a mixed race couple like this right here, like what do you think? They're a mixed race. I thought they were both white. Yeah, he's clearly like Hispanic. Oh, okay. Um. Whatever. So you know, it, it don't bother you. It doesn't actually bother you. So I mean, if it's like something that's to do with somebody's. Health or their 
mental health. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm re that's exactly what I was just like. Oh. I mean, I was right, like, I was raised to, to believe, like, to hate y'all for, for no reason. Like, I would ask my father, like, why? Why are you supposed to hate why? black people? <laughs> Damn, bro, the past generation, y'all are ills. Wholehearted ills. Just teaching your kids to be like that is crazy. Like, what you hate, so you have to teach them to hate. Why am I supposed to hate these people? Why okay. Why are they bad? That's wild. That's you know, dumb. You know, what, you know what, what's a good You didn't teach them nothing like. influential, nothing about their life. You just taught them one thing. Just conquering your fears. Just sitting down and talking about it. You ain't give them no other life lesson? Sometimes. Would you ever do that? Is that, is that, is that too scary? <laughs> if you saw, if you saw, like, a that means we are in the middle of your mind, kid. Good if, if you if you saw like if you saw like, like, like would you I ever would say, go. like would you just ever say hi my name is fool fool I wanted to introduce myself I hope you have a blessed day like would you would you be able to do that if you saw them right there just any couple right there probably not not because of their race just because of I wouldn't just go up to people okay so you, I know you say you're from a country there's probably no black people in the city right oh there's a ton there's a ton. How does that make That's you feel? That's why like? I don't go to the hood. Not I don't immediate. go to that side of town. So like when you see like a black person on a day to day basis like what are you doing? Um, what do you have? What's your first thoughts? What's your initial thoughts? Well, oh, damn, before, move, move, move. my dad would my dad would just say comments like, "Oh, they don't fucking work," or oh "They are God. they're living on welfare," or damn and, my gosh. and like just looking at them, just mm -hmm. no, not knowing anything about this person, oh, you think where about they him? came you think about from. Him? Oh, you 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 can't tell me that's not good. He's just sitting here walking his dog He's in the park. He's walking his dog. He's just chilling. He's a, that's a good guy right there. Right? Yeah. So you never right? had a black boyfriend? <laughs> even to this day? Uh, I have dated one black. Oh! And my dad went crazy. Oh! You're not hung on a tree? Oh! Crazy, like it was a bad... Like, like how did, crazy, like I'ma kill that and... No, he actually... I mean, he's actually transformed... Yo, yo! You almost sounded racist there, but... <laughs> my dad's brain, but he's still... He's still racist. Those so you feel are, like there's those different types the of black people? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I definitely do. So like me and him is me, me and him different? From the hood, yeah. Because you just don't like From the hood? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't like <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm poor. I mean there's nail hiring signs everywhere. So you what, what do you what do you consider then? Oh I would have considered the poor there's now hiring signs everywhere, yo. Yo Lazy. <laughs> Uh, no, not motivated. So uh, no ambition. I, I was preparing for. Oh, okay, okay. I ain't gonna lie. That that's that's valid answer. That's valid. He's a lazy no ambition. I was preparing for worse because what what person is willing to say that in 2023 is not. I never know. I've never met somebody. But I'm, I'm saying I don't want to be, but I know it's inside of me. Like I was raised in that. Like it's. I know it's there. Oh. I don't okay. want it to be. I want to get it out. She claims she wants these racist thoughts out of her brain and there's nothing she can do. So we're gonna put on a lie detector so she can actually learn the truth about herself and then potentially see if we can have any impact on her brain and even get her to step outside her comfort zone. Let's see what we can do. Yo, security looks tired. <clears throat> All right, I wanna see, I wanna see. Hey, Melanie. Damn. Damn. Um, the first question I want to ask is, are you, currently racist no that was a lie that was a dang lie hold on that was a lie okay i told you it comes out of me i was just trying to release it I knew it. Yo. Yo, bruh. Yo, I knew it. Okay. I told you it's inside of me. I told you it's inside of me. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I told you it's inside of me. Um, could you ever see yourself being friends? with a black person. I have black friends, yes. That's true. Okay. Oh my gosh, but she's right. Yo, she's racist, but she has black friends. Like this, yo. 
Do you like this? How does this work? Yes. Wait, what? That's true. Okay. Do you like Indian people? No. Oh my gosh, this is just from, like, she just had a bad experience with an Indian person, and now she just doesn't like the whole race of India. Like, how? You can, uh, I guess, I, I guess. That's true. So how do I lie on the racist part? <laughs> if I have black friends and I'm not, a, how does that work? Because you're still racist towards some people. I do that. That still makes sense to me. I don't, uh get to determine how you pass or fail is purely based on the data. So uh, what, does it go, what does it go based off of? Like to tell if they're, they're telling the truth or not? Yeah, so based off, um, you're connected to those different senses and when you're telling a lie, there's actually a physical response that happens in your body. Um, that middle one with the green one is actually measuring the blood that rushes back from your finger back to your brain to release oxygen. Um, yeah, don't care. So if you saw him on the street, would you think he's a thug? Oh, it's the dreads, bro. Damn, he don't even look like a thug. He has glasses on. Look at him. Look at him, bro. He said, "If I, if you saw him on the street, would you think he's a thug?" <laughs> he's like, "Why?" <laughs> Yo, this is how a racist mind works. You have locks. You're a thug. Father. You're a thug, yo. That's true. Damn. Oh my god. Like, so, like, so this 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 is not even like a for the lie detector, but so just anytime you see anyone with like dreads or anything, you just Yes, exactly. You just assume like he like he's a thug. Like he sells drugs or <gasps> Damn. Oh my god, I got my shit covered. Damn. She's talking about he probably sells drugs. No, he scams people. Or scams okay, people. So, like, wow. what about people that just like have that hairstyle because it's a part of their heritage, but they're not into anything like like that. I don't know. In my experience, most of them sold drugs or, or was in gangs or like. In your experience, it's not been good. Okay. Most black men that want to get away from that n n normally cut their hair or change their style or different. Why to match the norm? To match the mass norm? They just try to be different. They have to be. You know. I, I've I've had that that type of hairstyle before, and it's just because like I like it. Like my whole life, I've been. But that's profiling. I don't even know this person. Then I'm just like, nope, I ain't fucking with them. Okay, so that's okay. Once you know it's profiling. I I got a great question for you right now. If you saw a black man enter the elevator, are you clenching your purse? De depending on who, what he represents. Him. Him? No. I would just think that he's just chilling. It's the skin color, yo! Yo! He's lighter! He's lighter, yo! He still has dreads! Oh my gosh. It truly is that. Wow. They're minds. Yo, we are understanding the racist mind. Him. Yo! <laughs> yo! This man literally has locks too. He's covering them. He, he has tattoos. The other one doesn't even have tattoos. Oh my god. They got they got the hair the same hairstyle though, look. <laughs> once you realize. Well, like, once you realize. I guess I didn't. I like I wouldn't pay attention to the details. Like it's gotta be like that, like in like, your face. In your face, like yeah. too black. Too black, yeah. <laughs> No, that's crazy. <laughs> so you said you had a black boyfriend. Was he better than all your other boyfriends? What? She said he was! Yo! 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 She, he said, you said you had a black boyfriend. Was he better? She said, he was. Proudly! She said proud. How are you a racist but still you give us the shout out? That's crazy. Oh. To this day, you're dating a black man to this day. Yeah, sort of, kind of, whatever. You still got him in the rotation. It's crazy, yo. <laughs> but you're, yo, yo. yo. Um, you said you have, you have a black boyfriend. Do you guys do race play? What the fuck is that? Like, okay, okay. Once you don't know what that is, I'm so glad. 
But you probably still do it though. You fucking slave you like. Hell no. Hell no. I thought motherfucker ever tried to like that. I know, but you never like called him a slave on some like shit like that on some like kinky shit like. Hell no. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, y'all got mutual respect for each other. I mean, I got respect for him. I don't think it's the other way around. Why do you think he doesn't respect you? Other reasons. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I don't wanna, I don't Oh, you be sliming out, huh? You be going crazy, okay. red hot what girl you, summer. You go black, you never go back. Definitely. I'll never be with a white man again. Oh my gosh, she's a racist, but she says she'll never be with a white man again. What the hell? Damn. What am I? You like racist? <laughs> that <laughs> Yo. That's kind of crazy look. Yo. <laughs> what the hell? She's racist, but like. But I'm not trying to be. Yeah, trying to be. She really don't want to be racist though. That's crazy. She was just raised to be. Yo, that's so crazy. She was raised to be racist, but she really don't want to be racist. What the hell? In me. Wow. She's talking about it's just I'm in her. It, that's is. wild. That is literally wild. To take the hate on chart. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate black people. That's not. I just. My dad just conformed me to think, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna scam you, they're gonna rob you, you're gonna get shot. Well, I don't hate you, but if you have any bias towards anybody specifically based on race, that would make you technically the only person that has hate, hatefulness. I'm not really hating these people. I just know that they're evil and they want, they want us to suffer. They, I mean, they're poisonous in the food. They're poisonous in the water we drink. The shampoo you use, the soap you use every day, the detergent you use, all of it's poison. But nobody does research. Nobody cares about these stuff. Damn. So everything is just poison. Nobody talks about it. It only gets talked about on Joe Rogan. He's the only person that talks about these things. JRE is her favorite podcast. It all makes sense now. Ain't nothing wrong with JRE, no. Ain't chill. chill. I, okay, because I, I know you're saying you're trying to you're trying to like fix this thing you have going on. If I if I if I was able to to call an Indian person, would you be able to have a civilized like conversation with them? What type of conversation? Just hello. Hello. How are you? How's your day going? Oh no, I'm just up here doing this video. I might be in my feelings about it. <laughs> we don't care about your feelings. Would you Would you be willing to try? <laughs> would you be willing to try? I would try. I mean, I don't know if I would succeed, but I could try. We put it on the car. Yo, all right, all right. Is this, all right, two minutes. It can't be that bad in two minutes. Nice to meet you. Heard you uh, despise me. Heard, yo, you freaking fool. You fool. All right, go ahead. Yeah, they're cheap and they overcharge in their gas stations and they're not nice to Americans. Most people that own gas stations aren't even Indian. Well, I, I used to work for Indians at in property management and they were horrible to their tenants. Oh. Like extremely, like bad. Yeah, but you're judging you're judging the actions of a few to the character of many. Yes, yes. Yes, that is the best way to say it. Oh my gosh. Bad. You're judging the actions you're of judging, a few, the, the characters of many. Few. That shit is, so oh my gosh, that is the best way to say it. Yeah, I was just discussing that, how I put them all in one category instead of just the individual. Okay, all right. So, do you think I'm a bad Indian? I don't know you. Oh. <laughs> but by looking at you, you look like a pretty decent guy. I look like a decent guy. I don't look like a criminal, a thug. I wouldn't even say that you were Indian. You look black to me. The hair, my hair, yeah, my hair is the color black. Mm -hmm. Say so you look black to me. Yo, she's attracted. She's attracted. No, it looks like their hair. It looks like his hair. Bear. Your hair. Did I lie? I think, um, the phone was on garbage. That shit fell two times. I think, um, I hey, think bro. an important step right there. Cause stuff like that look, damn. can allow you to, to step outside your comfort that zone. It? I know doing this okay, is okay. probably outside your comfort zone. I think shut up, shut up. That was very informative. That was funny.